What is up sailors? So we are back. Today we are headed over to West Marine and we are going to be just picking up some boat related things that we need. Sean has packed the car today with tools and different things that we're going to be using to start some little projects that we're going to be doing. So let's see what we get into. to the brim. We were in there for a long time. Um, I cleaned out our pantry in our condo. I brought all of the food that we had at least double of from the pantry in our high rise. Your whole body is damp. Hey y'all, so we just completed another repair slash upgrade little small project on Teleru. On day six of our passage from Curacao to Miami, we were completely becalmed out in the Atlantic once we got out of the Old Bahama Channel and were headed toward the Straits of Florida. Zero wind, we couldn't sail. So I decided to take a quick dip into the ocean and for safety purposes, we deployed our rescue line so that there would always be an attachment point between me and the boat so that the boat could not drift away from me or vice versa. And I would always have positive contact with the boat and a rope to which could be pulled in or I could pull myself into the boat. As we were doing that, our rescue safety line bag, as you can see through years of being in the sun, was completely dry rotted and the attachment points where it attached to the rail were completely dry rotted and you can see you can tear it with your fingers. So that was obviously not a good situation. So we got the safety line back into the boat, got back to Miami, made a stop at West Marine and got lots of goodies for small projects and upgrades and things to fix, repair and upgrade. And this is one of them. This is our Life Sling 2 overboard rescue system replacement bag. We just got done installing it and you can see our rescue line and rescue flotation device in there and it's a nice new home. It is all well fitted to the boat. My lovely first mate Amber has tied it onto the rail with nice knots and we have it all velcroed into the back. Now it's in position and ready for the next passage. All right, you guys, so a few days ago, we took you along with us when we went to the West Marine store. We picked up mostly the essentials that we needed. We also went to a local Marine store called Cook and Crook. We also ordered some things from Amazon, and we just wanted to kind of give you guys a little rundown of everything that we picked up. Now, these are super, super basic things, and we do have some much more in-depth projects that we are going to be focusing on in future videos that we are so excited about. First and foremost, one of the things that we grabbed at West Marine a few days ago was all black covers for all of our fenders. So just to make our fenders and our boat look very uniform and neat, we decided to get all black fender covers and lines. And so we're going to be actually replacing all of that today. And then we grabbed a few more fenders just so that we would have an even amount. And to continue with the uniform look, we decided to change out our dock lines for all black dock lines but that's not the only reason that we got new ones some of the ones that we already had were showing a little bit of wear and a little bit of fray so circumnavigating around the world we did not want to risk any of our dock lines that are frayed or are showing a little bit of wear in any situation where they may be under stress and uh, get further damage or just put us in an unsafe condition. So we decided to get all new dock lines. We got the New England Ropes premium dock lines and these are 100% premium nylon and these are 3 quarter inch by 25 feet dock lines. So all good stuff and we're happy to add these to the boat as Amber was saying to keep it safe and secure uh, no matter what conditions we may be in where we're tied up somewhere. We also got this new Davis wind track wind direction indicator which Sean will be going up on the mast and we are going to uh, do a whole video on that also so keep checking back because we have a lot to show you guys. We also got some Flips stainless polish for all of our stainless steel on the exterior of the boat to keep that all 
shined and polished and beautiful. And then one thing that I am very, very excited about, this did not come from West Marine, this came from Amazon. And we got two different ones, so let me grab those really quick. Okay, these go in the shower. And one thing that we realized on our passage from Curacao all the way to Miami was that our soap bottles, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash just ended up on the floor of the shower. And it was just kind of underfoot and a little bit frustrating to kind of be scrambling around getting those under passage. So we both kind of shared the frustration with that. I mean, it's not a big deal, but we both kind of shared the same feelings with that. So we decided to get these and basically you just install these on the wall. And this one's gonna be Sean's one for him that has shampoo and then the other one will have body wash for him and then this one for me has three dispensers shampoo conditioner body wash and then all you have to do is just pump it with your hand and get your soap and nothing is underfoot i'm really really excited about this because it's going to just make it a lot more neat and clean and minimal that's right one of the additional little upgrades we got for the boat is this brand new SureHo telescoping handle and it comes with these neat attachments like this new SureHo 10 inch soft deck brush to clean our teak decks with and we can also use it for the boat and it's neat because it of course just slides onto the attachment and the good thing about this telescoping handle is it has multiple uses. For instance, we also got this brand new SureHo uh, broom attachment that we can use uh, either up top or we can particularly use it down here down below and then last but not least it always comes in handy to have a net you never know when somebody's going to accidentally drop something overboard or your hat's going to fly off in the wind or something and you might have an opportunity to snatch it before it sinks with a good old dip net <laughs> so we're not major fishermen but we also have some fishing gear on here uh, amber's brother gatlin is the major fisherman so if nothing else when her brother comes to visit we'll have fished it net on both well other than that i mean we just got some small things like a larger fan one of the things that we got in addition i'm really excited about it's already come in very handy it is the gerber dime multi-tool and we'll put a link down below it is a very small mini size multi-tool with the pliers and different knives uh little attachments little box openers the scissors knife blades Ooh, really tiny <laughs> and the little screwdriver attachments has come in very handy already on the boat just to have this in my pocket and you need to tighten up one screw for all of you that have sailboats in particular and you know what a chore it can be just to remove uh, cushions and compartment lids to get down into a storage compartment get your toolbox out get one screwdriver out to go tighten one screw this little tool in your pocket saves the day you can just make your tighten adjustment on your little screw you don't have to go through dragging out all your tools for something very very simple and small like that so even though it's very small love it as for the rest of this video we're gonna just go get to work start on all these little small things <laughs>
changing out the fender covers, we realized that on our largest fenders, we grabbed one size too small. So we ran to the Marine store and went ahead and, well, we were going to buy the correct size, but they were out of the size that we needed. So we went ahead and got those ordered. So we'll be changing those next time, but we did go ahead and change out all of our dock lines so that they're not only uniform and that they all match, but also so that we could have new dock lines that don't have such wear and tear on them that we showed you guys just a moment ago. We are still keeping our dock lines that we took off because you never know what you are going to need while on passages or at sea or going to new countries, new places. So we are keeping those and we're just, Sean's actually putting those in the anchor locker right now. situation up front here on the port side that is absolutely no bueno. In the back we installed this nice six foot rubber dock bumper and that protects the boat from bumping up against this hard old dock post. Up front we've been moving this pad around as the tide moves up and down and as you can see the pad doesn't stay in one place and we're constantly having to move it. So today we're going to remedy that situation and keep our beautiful boat off of this post because as you can see it's very close to bumping there with this pad out of the way and we have to fix that so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing this second additional six foot rubber dock post and that will protect our boat so watch this A day at the marina doing even the simplest boat projects like changing fender covers and dock lines can be exhilarating. Amber and I are so enthusiastic about our sailboat and upcoming circumnavigation. Each project day gets us closer to the next wave. <laughs> It has been said, there is real magic in enthusiasm. It spells the difference between mediocrity and accomplishment. On this day at Sailing Tellaroo, mission accomplished. <laughs> 